What's good YouTube, it's Vari, I'm back with another video, and I've made WNBA content before. I know on draft night, I made a video about Angel Reese and Camila Cardosa getting drafted, and then I made a video about Sue Bird around that time too, I believe. Nothing too crazy, y'all go check that out if y'all want to, cause why not? But today, I am here to address the sheer shenanigans going on in the WNBA community. The WNBA community is so disgusting as current day bruh it is it is insane and it's not like this nastiness is coming from one thing it's coming from the fans the former players and the current players it is getting ridiculous for real all right so honestly the biggest problem with the WNBA is in fact the fan base the fan base is full of new people expectantly because Caitlin Clark is just that great it's just full of new people using Caitlin Clark to push agendas and not only Caitlyn Clark fans honestly Angel Reese fans too and by agendas I mean racial and political but I really don't want to get into that just in case the small chance of this video getting views I don't want to actually spark nothing so we, we, we're just gonna end it right there but I am gonna drop one example from each side just so it don't seem like I'm talking on my ass and obviously the majority of the fans aren't doing this but a large amount of them are Here's an email that DJ A. Carrington got from a fan after she accidentally poked Caitlin Clark in the eye. Worthless, right? And then here's a tweet of LeBron showing support to Caitlin Clark. And we got people in the comments calling her a coon and whatnot, talking about he never shows his support for Angel Reese, which is just false. But I'm really here to talk about the new fans. I guess they're primarily Caitlyn Clark fans, but these new fans are crybabies. It is disgusting. So, when the WNBA dropped the playoff graphic, of course they had players from all the eight teams in the playoffs, right? But noticeably, Caitlyn Clark was not on the graph. They used Kelsey Mitchell instead, and when I tell you they are in the comments having a fit, it is disgusting. Every day I learn a little more of why this league has been a complete failure since its inception. The fact that Clark isn't on his graphic should prove to everyone that the WNBA is jealous of her success. Not having Clark on his graphic is yet another example of the WNBA having no clue what they're doing in regards to marketing their product. Intentional omission of Caitlin Clark on that Indiana graphic. You guys are hilarious. She's the face of the league. Cope. It is unreal because if you look at other graphics with Caitlin Clark in it, this is what the comments say. All right, right? Look, Caitlin Clark is on the graphic, right? They was, they was complaining in the other graphic that she wasn't there at all. But now that she's in it, fire who's ever in charge of making this poster. Having the golden goose of the WNBA in the very back is foolish. Having C how CC isn't front and center on this graphic, given the viewership numbers that just came out today, is something. This is the perfect example of why the WNBA is an entirely unserious organization. You rather not hurt the feelings of players no one has ever heard of than make tens of millions of dollars more by featuring the only player everyone in the country knows. My mans, Everyone in this graphic, well not everyone, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I ain't that locked in, but I can name a majority of people in this graphic, right? So we got Skylar Diggins, we got Diane Taurasi, we got AJ Wilson, we got Sabrina Ionescu. That that's where it cut off. Uh, actually, I, I don't I don't know the two on the left of Sabrina Ionescu, but I do know the one directly beside Kellen Clark, but I don't remember her name, so obviously that don't count. But whatever, that's not the point. But my man's there's only 12 teams in the WNBA. You don't know these other players, star players by the way, because you simply do not watch the games. And you don't watch the games because you don't care because one, you're either just a Caitlin Clark super fan, which is cool I guess, or you just supporting Caitlin Clark, like I said earlier, to push these agendas. My nigga, I'm telling you. And because you actually don't care, you need to stop talking about it. You need to stop giving Caitlin Clark fans a bad rap. And this is the same for Angel Reese fans too, because they be doing the same shit. So this is not just to make Caitlin Clark fans seem bad. Y'all have been fans of the WNBA for like five or six months. Y'all gotta stop acting like y'all care and y'all know what's good for the league and what's not, because you don't, bruh. I mean, y'all don't even really fans for real. But obviously, I can't tell you to not talk about something if you're not like super fan or locked in. So let me stop. Or the story, you new WNBA fans don't actually care about the game. Y'all just wanna use it to push agendas and do things of that nature. And y'all are allowed to do that because even the WNBA commissioner was allowing that. The thing that's great about the league right now, we do sit at this intersection of, 
of culture and sport and fashion and music. Like the WNBA players are really looked at now as kind of cultural icons. True. And when you have that, you have a lot of attention on you. So, hey, I guess I can't really blame you, but this stuff in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, go follow my Twitch, and peace.